Okay, hello and uh, welcome to this uh, information session on uh, the MSC Business Improvement. Just a few slides we want to cover by way of uh, general uh, background information, um, some benefits of studying at UU. Uh, certainly there is a, an excellent range of conversion courses if you, if you want to, to make a change in, in your career direction. Uh, certainly our postgraduate offering um, I think quite clearly provides a competitive advantage uh, to your advancement uh, through your employment career. There is obviously the added aspects of, of personal fulfillment of completing a, a, a master's, uh, particularly a master's like this which is a part-time program uh, so you'll be balancing that with your, your work life and other elements and, and that generally is quite a rewarding experience. <coughs> we claim <coughs> to, to, that we are experts in our field, particularly on this programme, the Embassy Business Improvement. Uh, we are not what we would term uh, solely academics. Uh, all of us have come from the, from the world of, of business and have commercial backgrounds. Um, uh, of, of some duration it has to be said I mean I have 15 years industrial experience uh, on top of my academic one and, and that profile is not uncommon on this particular program so the ability to uh, integrate uh, theory with practical application is something that we pride ourselves on <coughs> Uh, Ulster uh, very much prides itself on a supported study environment, so the whole aspects of pastoral care, uh, particularly on a part-time programme, uh, we've you know, fully realised that uh, students at, at varying parts along the programme may encounter difficulties or issues outside of their studies which are causing uh, them to have difficulties. Uh, we have enough experience to be able to deal with those in a sensible and mature way. Um, and in terms of uh, students who are perhaps uh, entering the program by way of experience rather than solely academic qualifications, uh, we can we can support those to uh, to succeed uh, alongside those who have the academic experience uh, from their undergraduate studies already. Again, on a course like Business Improvement, which has been running now for uh, over 20 years, we have lots of links with industry, uh, both in the private and public sector spheres, uh, and the ability to network with uh, colleagues uh, and make connections with other organisations with similar problems is, is something that uh, this course uh, enables students to, to take advantage of. Okay, some of the sort of high level quantifiable benefits uh, that uh, apply to postgraduate uh, study in terms of uh, average earnings, in, increased earnings over the course of your careers and, and so forth. So what is the MSc in Business Improvement? It's very much a practical programme uh, which uh, teaches uh, students practical quality improvement tools to help them to redesign and redevelop processes inside their organizations. It effectively combines academic theories with practical application and realizes that in addition to the requirement to, to redesign processes on how work gets done effectively, that, that those processes will involve people and therefore sustainable improvements uh, will require uh, engage people resources. The entry requirements to the programme then, uh, the MSc, just to clarify and emphasise, the MSc Business Improvement is a postgraduate post experience program. So applicants will, will normally be expected to have achieved a bachelor's degree or equivalent professional qualification in any discipline, but also to possess at least three years management experience. And I suppose the reality of the classroom situation is that 
the majority of students in our classroom have 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 more than that three years uh, management experience. And really, the, the reason that we want experience above everything else is that, you know, it's expected that the applicants to the programme will normally be in a position within their organisation to effect change. This is a practical programme to, to uh, generate improvement within organisations. And therefore, in order to be able to do that successfully, you need to have some influence within your own organisation. So it's a postgraduate, post experience part-time program okay so the cost uh, of this particular program uh, is uh, seven thousand seven hundred fifty pounds how is the course delivered well <coughs> the master's program is taught over three years uh, however, we also have an option to fast track completion over two calendar years if students prefer uh, to do so. We teach sequentially module by module, so students only study one module at a time. As opposed to the conventional 24 weeks teaching across 12 uh, weeks of a, an academic semester, that 24 hours of contact time is is condensed into three consecutive days so we teach nine to five tuesday wednesday thursday when we are teaching what we would term a three-day block module so the qualification structure then is there are six 20 credit point modules and one 60 credit point transformation project, which students complete at the end of the uh, other modules. <clears throat> so all of that added together amounts to 180 uh, cat points in total. So if you're following the three year program, then you would be uh, studying three 20 credit point modules in year one, three credit point modules in year two, and taking the 60 credit point transformation project in three in year three. The transformation project runs across three full semesters uh, and involves a, a written report and a short video presentation. Uh, now students who are taking the fast track option in two years will take the transformation project alongside the three year two modules. OK, so what are the modules? OK, so uh, in year one, students will cover the modules of operational excellence, leadership and change management and quality management and process improvement. If students uh, wish to uh, exit their studies after year one, then the 60 credit points at postgrad level would be equivalent to a postgraduate certificate in business improvement. Students who progress into year two will then study innovation management, improvement through people, and financial decision making in year two. And again, anyone who wishes to exit after completion of the six 20 credit point modules would then be in a position to exit with a postgraduate diploma in business improvement. Those wishing to complete the full masters will go on to complete the transformation project, either in parallel to the year two modules or in a third academic year. OK, so why are the, the modules as they are, in a sense. I mean, according to Peter Drucker, uh, who's a famous uh, management uh, academic, there were really only three things that happen naturally in organizations. Friction, confusion, and underperformance. Now, he would have put that down to a lack of leadership, and whilst we won't disagree with that, it, it is, in our view, certainly more complicated than that. Yes, 
uh, there is a significant importance in leadership. But I think the reason for underperformance in, in most organizations is not just a lack of leadership, but also a lack of focus on operational management and operational processes that deliver uh, organizational performance. So in order to improve any issues of underperformance, then we've got to address uh, a combination of what we would call the hard and soft aspects of operations management. So, so the hard aspects, the, uh, the process design, the balancing of supply and demand, the maximization of productivity, the maximization of quality of service, uh, etc. Alongside the softer people-based uh, elements of operations management, so those softer elements, as we can see uh, in the centre of the slide, covered in two key modules, leadership and change management and improvement through people. So again, why do people behave the way they do? People are rational beings and will behave rationally in terms of how they perceive their role within the organisation and how they perceive the organisation to function. However, very often, that is not how we want them to behave. And therefore, by understanding how people think, act and behave, how they are motivated to behave in the way that they can, then obviously we can, we can influence that uh, in order to maximize uh, organizational performance. Uh, <clears throat> issues of uh, productivity, uh, workflow management, uh, the understanding of demand and the pressures that it places on organizational processes these aspects are covered in detail in the operational excellence module we follow that up with a quality management and process improvement module where we are um, equipping students to be able to uh, understand the value streams that exist within your organizational processes to identify where there are flow interruptions, to identify where there is waste and non-value adding activity, which could be removed, um, to be able to understand the implications of bottlenecks for capacity management, the implications for queue times, and queue lengths, etc. All of these aspects, which tend not to be properly understood in organizations, we cover in detail on this program. In year two, we also add uh, the aspect of innovation management into your tool set. If organizations are going to be able to uh, develop and advance their organizational uh, processes and ways of working, then they need to be innovative on how they uh, approach these matters. And that's not straightforward. So how do we make an organization more innovative uh, we study in detail in year two and we also include a financial decision making module not because we want to convert anyone into accountants but we realize that organizational improvement is likely from time to time to require uh, investments to be made and if we are going to be successful in securing the funding for those investments, then we need to be able to talk the same language as the finance people. So how do we make a business case for the improvement uh, projects that we want to invest in? What is our payback on those investments going to be? Uh, and if we can uh, converse uh, in that kind of language, then our chances of, of securing the investment to require is, is much uh, higher. So they are the modules which, which form the, if you like, the, the, the bedrock of the MSC Business Improvement and which form the knowledge base from which you will actually then implement a practical transformation project in the workplace.
Okay, so I think just to uh, dwell on the uh, project just for a moment, the transformation project, uh, which students complete at the end of their studies, is an actual improvement project which you will have identified uh, within the uh, organisation that, that uh, has benefit to deliver and you will lead and run that improvement project over a six to nine month period. Uh, anyone who is graduating with a master's qualification in business improvement would be expected to not under, only understand uh, the theory to possess the tools and techniques of improvement, but also to be able to demonstrate experience of leading and managing an, an improvement project. And that is what this course is very much aimed at, at, at building. So knowledge, uh, skills, attributes, uh, very, very important on a practical program like this. So module assessment then, there are no examinations on the program at all. Assignments are set following each module. All assignments are coursework based. They are all uh, practically minded and set within your own organizational context. Uh, so uh, whether that's a, an operational excellence uh, project or a leadership and management one or whatever it might happen to be, you're uh, analyzing uh, a situation or an issue around the theory that you have been studying in a particular module. You've been gathering some data within the, the organization to better understand the problem. You're uh, analyzing that problem and making some recommendations for improvement. Students will have eight weeks to complete and submit their assignments. So you have your three days of intensive classroom teaching, uh, that will be followed up two weeks later by uh, a sort of an online learning set where you will have the opportunity then to have gone away, done a bit of preliminary reading, decided what you're going to do for your assignment and have the opportunity then to, to uh, sort of bounce your ideas uh, in a learning set environment in a small group of peers along with your lecture to give you the confidence that you know you're on the right track and and you can use the remaining six weeks to to uh, work on that uh, assignment in the knowledge that you know you're you're on the right track to to getting good marking so you will then submit your assignment uh, effectively in that uh, sort of week nine period and you will then uh, submit that on the Monday and then on the Tuesday you will take your second module and so forth. So you always uh, submit your assignment just before you start your next assignment. So we study in that sequential way. We're not carrying two or three assignments uh, in our to-do list at any one time, only one at a time. We get it out of the way and we move on to the next module. Your assignment will be marked within two weeks of submission. You will receive your detailed uh, uh, feedback uh, again, two weeks after you have submitted the assignment. Uh, and again, because you're getting it uh, so swiftly, that feedback should be beneficial when you are, uh, come to do your next module assignment and so forth. All of your assessment is quality assured uh, through our exam board procedure. Uh, so samples of assignments will be second marked by internal academics at the university uh, and then externally verified by our external examiners and ratified uh, during our exam board periods through the year. Okay, so some uh, important dates for the MSc Business Approval Programme. Those three year one modules uh, are outlined in the left hand column, Operational Excellence, uh, scheduled to run from 21 through to 23rd of uh, September in the Ulster Belfast campus. Leadership and change management will then run 16th through 18th of November, also in the Ulster Belfast campus. And then there will be a third quality management and process improvement module in semester two, running from the 2nd to the 4th of March, also in the Ulster Belfast campus. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding the MSc Business Improvement, please don't hesitate to get in touch uh, with myself at 
that's uh, Alan McKittrick at a.mckittrick at ulster.ac.uk or by telephone on 9536 5790. The application process uh, to uh, apply for place on Embassy Business Proven is online. Uh, and you just basically go on to our main ulster.ac.uk website. Uh, there is no official closing for, for most courses uh, and applications are rolling, so um, we are advising you to apply as early as possible so that we can uh, make you an offer of a place should you be successful. Okay, so again, just general university detailing. Um, course places are obviously limited, so apply as early as you can. You can apply for multiple courses, although separate applications are required. Um, and make sure you fully complete your applications. Uh, and if in doubt, make sure you contact us and we will obviously be happy to help. Uh, but again, just for your advice in terms of applying, uh, if you have contacted me by uh, uh, phone or email and we've chatted to each other uh, in advance of your application then obviously I'm going to be aware of you when the application comes through and therefore uh, all of that will be uh, to your to your benefit. Okay so the New Belfast campus uh, remains on schedule uh, to open its doors uh, and welcome students from September 2021 are uh, classes on the MSc Business Improvement have been scheduled for the Ulster Belfast campus. So, um, again, any courses that are transferred from Jordanstown for the new Belfast campus are highlighted on the ulster.ac.uk website. And with the impact of COVID 19 prevailing, the university is working closely with contractors to mitigate any impact of the pandemic on our opening dates. We're continuing to operate safely alongside the uh, pandemic um, and learning from our shared experience and success over the two extraordinary academic years. And obviously we are still going to take our guidance from the executive and, and the public health guidance um, in terms of how we uh, plan our delivery of modules uh, across the 21 into 22 academic years and beyond. But you can keep up to date as the situation changes by visiting the ulster.ac.uk forward slash coronavirus uh, website. Okay, thank you very much for your uh, time this afternoon. I hope the information session was helpful. Um, and if you have any information that you still require, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.